Hello, my fun-loving reading friends. It's Ani. I'm so glad you're here. If you want to read more stories with me, be sure to subscribe. And for shout-outs, book reviews, and more content, follow me on social media. A ferocious beast is locked in the bathroom at the restaurant where all the monsters like to eat. Let's see if anyone can tame it as we read Count Spatula. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Izzy B presents Count Spatula. Count Spatula awoke to another ordinary night in his restaurant, the Bloody Bistro. He fed his tiny fish. Here, Boris. He organized his well-groomed staff. Igor, straighten your bow tie. And prepared the main cuisine. Down, boy, down. When the restaurant was ready, he opened the doors and hungry monsters poured in. <laughs> Just like the night before that and the night before that. The Count was removing a guest from the decor when something out of the ordinary happened. A fearsome beast burst through the front door. The terrified monsters screamed, <laughs> so Count Spatula trapped it in the bathroom. Soon after, the beast was followed by a creepy pair of creatures named Olivia, May, and Nana. We're looking for our cute and precious pug princess, Olivia May announced. Count Spatula hadn't seen anything cute come in, but he heard a loud, coming from the tiny one's tummy. So he said, Would you join us to eat? It would be my treat. Olivia May held her belly. Nana nodded. Count Spatula led them to his fanciest table and handed them a menu. I want to take your order, he said. Today's special is a feet loaf with a lot of kick. The granny gulped. Ooh. I guess we'll have the feet loaf. It will be right out. Now I want you to enjoy some entertainment. Count Spatula turned into a bat and the restaurant came to life. Oh! Oh, oh! A hairy king of karaoke sang Fly Me to the Full Moon by Frankensteinatra. A hip mummy began to rap. Frankenstein did the electric slide. The headless horseman tried to join in, but he could never get ahead. Just as Frankenstein finished, the lights flickered and Count Spatula flew in to deliver their dish. Olivia May cringed. Nana saw a frog leg twitch, but their bellies began to grumble again. Let's give it a go, Olivia said. She closed her eyes and took a teeny tiny bite. Then another, and another, and another. Soon Nana too was eating the goo. It was so delicious, they ordered more. They gobbled down snot roast and chomped bunion rings. They slurped spaghetti and eyeballs. They bit hamburgers with a side of tater toast and devoured chili fleas nachos. Last, they munched macaroni and sneeze. They nibbled the last noodle and couldn't take another bite. Our, Our compliments to the, the count, count, they said. Then Olivia May began to wiggle and sway. What is wrong? Count Spatula asked. I, um, need to use your bathroom, Olivia whispered. Before Count could stop her, Olivia May threw open the door and all the monsters gasped. <gasps> they watched as the ferocious bathroom beast pounced. Oh, no! The beast began to taste her face. 
and Olivia May giggled. <laughs> the monsters were impressed. Only the bravest of all could tame such a terrifying beast. Olivia May saved the day. So Count declared, Olivia May and her nana can feast, as long as their beast has a babysitter. So Nana and Olivia May ate there every day, because they had a babysitter who was always willing to lend a hand. It's good to try new foods because you never know which one you're going to love. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.